I became disillusioned when it was clear that climate change was not a priority here. Up until the spring of 2019, Louis Ziska was a plant physiologist with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Do people at, at the highest levels of leadership within USDA believe climate change is happening? You'd have to ask them. I only know what I've read in the papers about folks like Sonny Perdue who don't seem to think it's real. The head of agriculture for the United States may not think climate change is real. From his own comments, it sounds like he agrees with others within the current administration that this is not evidence-based science. In the spring of 2019, Ziska resigned because he felt science was now taking a backseat to ideology. You're entitled to your own opinion, that's great, we're a free country, but you're not entitled to your own facts. Facts, science, happening at places like this, a patchwork of green in the heartland of the United States, one of the most robust producers of corn and soybeans on the planet, 21 million acres here in Illinois alone. This is your lab, huh? Yes, yeah. We're lucky to have it. It's what drew scientist Andrew Leakey from his home country of Scotland to the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. This is why I moved here, actually. But the climate is changing this most fundamental way of life as well. It's what Louis Ziska has been sounding the alarm about. The carbon in the air is now changing the food coming from the ground. So we are essentially going into your time machine, as you say. Absolutely, so you've, you've stepped from 2019 into the mid-century in terms of uh, CO2 concentration. Within this outlined space, these plants are getting gassed with 25% more carbon dioxide. Why? Well, that's the level scientists project our atmosphere will have in the year 2050. I just heard the, the hissing sound. That hisses, yeah. We're now on the uh, upwind side of the plot. And uh, if you reach out, you can probably uh, feel some of the CO2, yes, feel some of the CO2 coming oh, yeah, out the back sure. side of the, of the plot there. We humans need oxygen, as you know. But plants, they like carbon dioxide. They use it in a process called photosynthesis. So if you have more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, that should be good for plants, right? Well, sort of. It definitely can help plants grow bigger, but not necessarily better. That carbon gets turned into carbohydrates or sugar. It also makes it so these plants have less of the good stuff, like zinc, iron, and protein. It's turning some of the best foods we humans have into junkier food. That sounds like a, a significant problem. If some of the staples of our diet, some of the most commonly grown crops on the face of the earth are changing. I think those of us in the developed world have the luxury of being able to go take a supplement or adjust what we buy at the supermarket. But there's around 2 billion people in the world who are already zinc and iron deficient. And there's uh, also about 2 billion people who depend on uh, the grains that they eat for their supply of zinc and iron. It is one of the ways most of the world will first experience the impact of climate change. And no doubt, it's one of the most critical issues of our time. Which is why it was so shocking to learn that the USDA wouldn't even let Ziska talk to us about his study. We tried to sit down with you earlier this year, as you, as you may know, and then we were told you, you, you wouldn't be able to do it. Right, and that was the first time that it happened. They said, no, we don't, we don't want you to talk to CNN. When we asked why were we denied a chance to speak with Ziska, the agency said they didn't publicize his work because they had concerns about the nutritional claims in the paper. When pressed further about speaking with Ziska directly, the agency said there is no additional or new information to share. Ziska believes it was once again the agency putting ideology before science. I'm a little worried now listening to you because I feel like, first of all, there's you know, real concerns about what's happening with the climate and then additional concerns that uh, we're not being proactive about something that we could be proactive about. Yes. Should I be as worried as, as this is all sounding? I think you should be worried, and I, but I don't think you should give up hope. As I mentioned before, there are good people in these agencies, and they're just looking for an opportunity to put their skills and their abilities to use.